The following is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on working with double system sound. We're going to start with Adobe Premiere Pro CC. There's two ways that we can synchronize. We can synchronize automatically and we can synchronize manually. What I've done in this case is I've put a marker at the audio clap and the video clap, which indicates exactly the frame where I want these synced. Select the two clips, go up to the clip menu, go down to synchronize. Notice there's a difference between synchronize, which means to align, and merge, which means to connect. We're going to align the two clips, and we can align based upon the start of the clip, the end of the clip, common time code, which is not existing in this case, common marker, or audio. I'm going to do the marker first and then do the audio. When we use markers in Premiere, the markers must have the same name. And if I remember correctly, Premiere also wants to have a number in the marker. So I'm going to use the same name. They're both called Marker 1. I'm going to align on the clip marker, click OK, and watch the sync in 2, 1, woof. They're now synchronized. When you're aligning on markers, it's extremely fast. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play both clips at the same time. You want to listen to see if there is one clap when the clap comes down or multiple claps. If you hear one, it means the clips are in sync. Then listen to my voice. If the clips are in sync, my voice is going to sound relatively present. If they're not in sync, it's going to sound hollow. And if they're really out of sync, it's going to sound echoey. So let's take a listen. Now it should count up and it should be in record mode. The reason we record double system sound is that we want to have the highest possible audio with the highest possible picture quality, and sometimes that requires using two different devices. Okay, now let's explore why we want to use double system in the first place. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play this clip again, and we'll listen to both clips. That means they're in sync. Then I'm going to click the mute button. Let's just pull this down a bit here. I'm going to click the mute button, and this will mute the clip on this track, and you'll hear the camera audio. When you do, notice how much background noise there is. Notice how off mic it sounds. Then we'll mute the top clip, and you'll be able to hear the difference between the present mic, which is a lavalier, which is pinned right inside my shirt, and the camera mic, which is about, oh, six and a half, seven feet away from my, my voice. It's a short shotgun, but still it's a ways away from where I am. So first both, then we'll mute the close mic, then we'll mute the camera mic, and take a listen. The reason we record double system sound is that we want to have the highest possible audio with the highest possible picture quality, and sometimes that requires using two different devices, one to record audio and one to record video, which is what I'm doing here. If you listen to the sound coming off the camera, this is what the camera looks like, which is pretty thin and not real good, because the mic is way too far away from me. Instead lavalier and I, by recording that lavalier on a separate device and then syncing them inside Final Cut I get much higher quality sound with a beautiful picture. That is what this movie is about. How do we sync double system sound and make it sound perfect? I think you can clearly hear the benefit. Notice how much noisier this clip was because the mic was farther away. How much tighter and cleaner this mic is because it was attached to me. One of the things that I've learned is that it is far better to record audio clean and tight because we can always add room tone, we can always add sound effects, we can always add echo, we can always degrade the quality of the audio. That's easy to do. But it's really difficult to improve the quality of the audio. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at how to work with double system sound within Adobe Premiere and Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for webinar 130. By the way, if you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 700 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free.
Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. And thanks.